Welcome to a sunshine old town on a hot summer day. Here we start in the Plaza Uruguaya with this statue of Artigas, the, the libra, liberator of Uruguay in the centre. And as you see, Plaza Uruguay, very green leafy space in the centre of the city. And from here, we'll head on down along Calle Palma, which for many years, in fact until mid 20th century when Asuncion started swallowing up the surrounding villages, was the centre of the city, although those days have gone now and the, its centre of gravity has moved elsewhere. However, this is still the historic centre. As we head along now, over there on the far side of the plaza is the old railway station, which is now the Railway Museum. And in this, in this nice leafy plaza, as you can see, a number of statues. And it is a warm, warm, warm day today. This was months, well, actually, when I first came to Paraguay, this was a much busier area. But over the years, things have been moving out bit by bit to the outer town shopping malls. It was a process that's been going on for many years but was really accelerated during the pandemic when lots of businesses along here have closed and relocated elsewhere. And as such, there are currently quite a few boarded up premises along Kai Palmer, especially at this top end. But it, there is more open further down. Let us head on. One of the modern hotels. As you can see, very, very bright sunny day. There are nice buildings along here. Even though this, this part of the town is falling into, well, disuse and abandonment a wee bit. You can see here, fine colonial buildings. One day a fresh use will be found for this part of town and all this historic architecture will come back to life again here. Look at these fine, fine, fine doorways. As you can see, along this first stretch of the on the road, unfortunately, much has closed down. This building on the corner here, which is now off, off for sale, was for many, many years the Hotel Chaco. It was a very nice place. I stayed there on many occasions, but it was, it was dated and somewhat old-fashioned. And I guess the pandemic just was a final straw. So the Hotel Chaco has ceased to be. And if we look back at it, you can see uh, it's a decent building, but it is very much 70s architecture. Not exactly the most modern. That's a shame that it's gone. Here another colonial building boarded up for the moment. I think it do get a little livelier further on down the street. But even, even with it all shut, there are, as I mentioned, fine buildings to look at. Much more light and come in time. Karaoke they offer. Oh dear, I'll shut that voice. This 
fine building is the National Archive. I have one flag on the side of the door. Here another smart and painted building. This was, at one time, the home of Madame Lynch, the mistress of Marisco Lopez, the, the president at the time of the Chaco War. And it's now an educational facility. But, yeah, original, you know, colonial architecture in the city centre. That sky, just how blue it is. Down there, just a couple of blocks away at Sunshin Bay. Parallels or Assumption Bay, and so it's just a couple of blocks away from Parliament, the Dental Palace, and the Old Port, as well as other historical buildings that are in the area. Right. Here we have second hand book market, second hand books, and we're looking for old stamps, isn't it? This is the first of very open stores in the way of Americana. A large and very smart. I was in there for lunch. Very nice it was too. Now up on the left here. Independence Plaza, Plaza de la Independencia. It's a very large plaza. In fact, it is actually four plazas joined together. So it covers a fair amount of land. Often on the weekend there'll be music down here and various shows and the like put on. There's also, in one area, a covered craft market and all sorts of Paraguayan bits and pieces. Here coming up now is the Pantheon de los Heroes. Um, it was modelled on the Invalids in Paris and it is a national shrine containing the remains of various Paraguayan leaders and heroes as well as the tomb of the unknown soldier. A very fine building. Every day there's a military guard in full dress uniform outside who raise the flag first thing and then lower it in the evening. Here we have Paraguayan Wapot. The Pantheon is open 
all day to all visitors. Souvenirs, t-shirts and hats. I've seen several signs with exchange rates on, but I've not seen one of the clocks that also displays the temperature. So I would guess it's mm, mid to high 30s would be a reasonable guess, I think. One of the many um, foreign exchange offices. There are many of those in Tetris, I'm sure. Thank you. One of the main reasons being the Paraguayan warranty is non exchangeable outside the country. So everyone must exchange their monies, be they pounds, dollars, euros, or whatever, into warranties within Paraguay. Yeah, now this is the tourist office. All sorts of knickknacks, as well as advice on what to do and where to see in Paraguay. They are quite helpful in there. Heading on down now. Leather belts. Leather is a commodity to be found in Paraguay with all the, all the cattle. Good quality leather is going to be had at a very reasonable price. From now on, Kai Palmer slowly starts to wind down. But still in this, this part of the street, quite a few businesses, obviously much more you can see than at the top ends. But less people here than there used to be. Everyone's in the air conditioned shopping malls. And well, who would blame them? Got a fine building, building there. Suitcases? Have a need for suitcases? Mm -hmm. They've become a Burger King. Right next to a quite odd market restaurant. It's been there far longer than Burger King has. on the left, Unicentro, the largest department store in the centre. It has got various, brand, various other locations in the shopping centres around the city. But it's a good, yeah, good five stories. Many, many things can be found in there. Although not possibly the most um, economic. Can be a little bit expensive. Hello. 
this little alleyway down here is the place to go for cell phones and computers. It's all computer and phone related shops down there. With all the latest models. Cakes. Uh, toy shop. This building here is the Banco GBN, no, GN, Bank GBN, GNB. It was for many years until they sold their South American holdings. Lloyd's Bank. And I've done some banking in there when I first came here, when it was still Lloyd's Bank. But no more. There are no more Lloyd's Banks in South America. shaded the street down here and it's not been put up by the council or anyone like that these are rubber rings for bazaar just to advertise the toy shop just down here it's very nice though nice and bright painted the pavement and the benches. Got a fair bit of effort there to attract customers. Right there in the distance is Thompson Bay. And I think we'll just go to the next corner because there's only another block or two and then Kaya Palmer reaches um, Colon and that is the end of it, which, which is Colon, the busy, busy road running up from the bay. So there you have it, colonial buildings and what is now quite a quiet part of town, Kaya Palmer, Asuncion.